This is our technology section on driveworkslive.com. I'm going to select our rules tech stack. And I'm going to say explore rules. The layout of our tech stacks contain navigation to guide you through the sections. They also have subsections like the ones you can see here. The tech stacks are fully interactive containing lots of information that you can have a go at. So what are driveworks rules? Rules can be expressed as simple actions, complex calculations, or a series of instructions. With DriveWorks, you harness the power of the rules engine to automate tasks in a way that best suits your products. Rules used in DriveWorks can be equations, sums and logical expressions, or even business logic, legislation and product requirements. Here are some examples of rules. We use a central support if the length of the conveyor is greater than 3 meters. We always have a quarter inch gap around the door frame unless the frame is over 4 foot wide in which case the gap is increased to 5 sixteenths of an inch. Customers with a delivery address in the United States are charged in US dollars and those in the European Union are invoiced in Euros. Our rules concept means you can define your design knowledge and intent as rules. These rules are used to make relevant decisions and perform actions. Rules are flexible. You can use our powerful rules engine in many ways. For example, to create quotes for sales to send out quickly in response to inquiries, or for engineers to create new or order-specific custom designs. When the product design or know-how is captured into DriveWorks, the data required to create the new version is generated quickly and accurately and passed seamlessly from sales to engineering and then to manufacturing. Let's look at usage. Rules can be used everywhere when using DriveWorks. There are lots of examples here for you to have a go yourselves. If we look at guided selling, this helps both internal and external customers specify combinations that you can both make and within budget. If I hover over single door, you can see I get some feedback. This is a tool tip showing me the maximum size available. I can do the same with double door. This is typical with guided selling. If I hover over structural width, I can see a minimum, maximum and current value. It says here if I use a panic bar, then I can't have a window. If I click standard handle from my form, and this opens up some new options for me. The rules now allow me to select my window options. You can see I've now got more options available. These are examples of using rules in DriveWorks to change the options on a form based on previous selections. Give active feedback to guide your user through the available choices. Validate the information being entered on the form. Adding rule-based tooltips to any form control gives your users immediate guidance on valid values. Using rules means that no matter what the selection, the guidance is always updated. I'm going to select part numbers. Companies create and use part numbers in many different ways. Using rules in DriveWorks, you decide how your parts are numbered. It may be that you have customers that use DriveWorks to build intelligent part numbers, others that prefer sequential system, and some that use prefix or suffix in their naming. The good thing is that DriveWorks is flexible, so you can choose what suits you. In these examples, I can present this bill of materials in lots of different ways. If I change my form, I'll drop down the number of windows and you can see that my parts list changes in real time. No manual entries means less mistakes. Let's have a look at pricing and delivery. Pricing can be based on rules for standard items and new designs. Market driven margin and customer specific discounts can be applied using rules. As you can see here, discounts and currency may be linked to customers or it can be added individually, if required. Price and lead time might also be based on selection and quantity rules. Once users have filled out the forms, you can then use the rules to create quotations, cutting lists, bills and materials and more. DriveWorks uses rules to drive Microsoft Word and Excel as well as many other file formats. As I make changes, you can see the quotation changes automatically. 
Let's move on to data. We can use rules to filter, sort, query and create data. This data can then be used in your forms to make design decisions or be passed to a third party system. I can select from the drop down box to filter the table. Using a combination of DriveWorks automation and our rules engine, all the specific designs are created in SOLIDWORKS. New models are generated by DriveWorks in SOLIDWORKS, renamed, saved in specific locations, including new parts, assemblies and manufacturing drawings accurately and automatically. We can use rules to drive the workflow in your designs. In this example, approval is required for double doors. Single doors do not need approval. My single door is selected and the trail of workflow goes through for ready for manufacture. If I select double door, you can see the workflow changes. After quoted, the design is reviewed. Our security example shows setting up your users and groups as part of your rule set. I can control who sees what and who can do what using a combination of the inbuilt security and rules. Here I have different options for different teams, sales team, contract manager and engineering. As I select a different user I can see how rules affect what they can see. In section 2 we'll look at types of rules. Writing rules in DriveWorks is very easy as we have expanded on the Microsoft Excel style syntax. There are many types of rules in DriveWorks, so we have categorised them to make them easy to find. We can explore those categories here. Mathematical functions means that calculating the volume of a pressure vessel is easy and obvious. In this rule we can specify diameter and length to find the volume. DriveWorks follows basic mathematical principles of operator order. You can see the rule laid out. As I change the value for diameter and length, the volume updates. In this text example, the rule for the contract number is the first letter of the job status, the order number as a six digit code, the first three letters of the customer name, excluding spaces, converted to uppercase. So I'll change this on my options. Let's make it an inquiry and I'll change my customer name. You can see that contract number update and it's also been added to my report down here. For the table example, we are using a VLOOKUP rule to find the country of the selected customer. This works exactly the same way as the VLOOKUP function works in Microsoft Excel. You can see the rule here. It's matching the selection of the customers table, showing in column 5. Again you can see my report updating. This next one is a logic rule. Logic is at the heart of the DriveWorks rules engine. Here the length of the pressure vessel is used to determine if a central brace is required. If the length is greater than 1200 the central brace is required. The example details the rule. The result of this rule also drives another rule to determine which picture gets displayed. Organising teams and team members is a good example of security rules. You can build rules based on who uses your configurator. For instance, view display options or calculate a price for members of a specific team. This example shows a table of users and roles for the selected team. Lists have many rule uses in DriveWorks, and manipulating lists is an important part of any configurator. DriveWorks has many inbuilt functions for controlling lists. The result of this function is to get a value from the list based on its index. I can change the index here, and in this case it's returning the matching colour. Often the current date can be an integral part of the rule set. Discounts may only be valid for a certain number of days, 
Material availability may be changed based on the day of the week and manual processes may have a due date. In this example I can specify a date range to calculate network days. Constraints allow you to decide which values you know and which need evaluating. Looking firstly at calculation, sometimes you may need different options to specify something in different ways depending on the information you are given. This first example shows us lots of flexibility in the way we specify the pressure vessel by allowing the length or diameter to change. So with length selected, if I increase the length, you can see the volume is updating. Also if I increase or decrease the volume, the length changes. If I turn the bias to the diameter changes, as I increase the diameter, the volume changes. This option allows you to make product selections in any order and change calculation order based on rules. For selection, I can choose options in any order. This rule filters my available options depending on what I have selected and I can reset the selections by clicking the X. So if I know I want my maximum weight to be 500 kilograms and I want to have wheels, it leaves me with the options of MDF and plywood. Let's have a look at validation. Validating user inputs is vital in any configurator. DriveWorks goes further by also validating against criteria. The first example is checking to see if a file name is valid with no incorrect characters. The second is checking email addresses. If I remove the invalid characters, it returns me a true. Likewise, if I just correct this email address, and I've now got a true value. True validation using rules. The help icon will link you to our extensive and concise help documents. In this case, linking to our categorized functions. I can extend this further by clicking on a category. Rules for error checking protect your design and reduce errors, saving time and cost. The next section looks at project setup. This section is split into three. The rules builder for creating rules, help us to show some of the ways that DriveWorks helps you to create rules, and build, where we will step through the process of creating a rule. So what you can see on the screen here is our rule builder. DriveWorks uses the rules builder to help you create and manage each rule. This rules builder uses wizards, helpers, and syntax highlighting to make rules building easy. We can take a look at the main areas of the rule builder. The command bar is at the top. The command bar gives access to helpers inside DriveWorks. These include all functions, rule revisions, associated files, group and project tables. The rules editor is where the rule can either be typed or where the rule will be created if using the wizards. Syntax highlighting and rules insight makes understanding existing rules much easier. At the bottom is help and diagnostics. Here we can see results of our rule. Drill down into every rule to see why it evaluates to its current value. Use function wizards to construct each rule quickly and accurately. To keep things nice and tidy, we can add comments to every rule. On the right hand side is the content browser. Here we can access form controls, constants, variables and more in the content browser. Double clicking on any item automatically adds it to your rule or mini wizard. There are lots of ways that DriveWorks will help you with your rules. The image here shows an example of that, giving information to help build an if statement. This is Rules Insight, which provides visual aids and help when building your rules. Rules Insight prompts help you with the syntax required to complete the rule. Pop-ups and visual indications, such as bracket matching, will help your rule building. Let's have a look at visual feedback. The Rules Builder gives visual feedback as you create your rule. In this example, the top rule is incomplete and the background colour is changed to pink. In the lower example, the syntax is now correct and the background colour is green. As well as directly typing rules in the Rules Builder, each function has its own mini wizard. Mini wizards help select each argument. In this example, the three arguments of the if function. These are all great features that will help you create your projects quickly and effectively. It is easy to build the rules you need in DriveWorks. This section is a step-by-step -step example of how a logic rule is built. The rule is to determine the quantity of doors for a cupboard. If the cupboard width is greater than 600, then two doors are required. If not, then one door is required. You can see an example of our rule here. The rule builder is launched from anywhere that a rule is required to be built. Those familiar with Microsoft Excel syntax 
can just start typing and DriveWorks will give you intelligent prompts. Alternatively, clicking the function button on the command bar opens a searchable and characterized function list. Double clicking a function opens a mini wizard, in this case, the if function. An if function mini wizard is now available to make building the rule easier. The mini wizard checks and validates each argument of the rule in real time. The first argument of the if statement is the condition that will be evaluated. In this case, it is if the cabinet width value is greater than 600. Cabinet width value can be selected from the content browser on the right. With the cursor in the condition of the mini wizard, double clicking the form control in the content browser automatically adds it. The text will be added wherever the cursor is placed, including the main rule editor window. The mini wizard arguments can be manually typed. In this case, the condition is completed with the greater than 600 text, and the values of one and two are entered for the condition results arguments. Once the function arguments have been added to the mini wizard, clicking finish adds the rule to the rule editor. The rule will be added at the current cursor position, so the wizards can be used multiple times for each rule. Clicking finish adds the rule. The rule can be modified by directly typing into the rule editor to change each argument or add more functions. Note that DriveWorks adds the word return to the control name to show that this is the value being returned from the form. Visual prompts show that the rule is complete and the syntax is correct. Clicking OK puts the rule into action. The next section is the rule profiler. Rule profiling is a collection of rule-specific error, debugging and performance insight features that analyze the effect of changing values. You can keep your DriveWorks projects running efficiently with the inbuilt rules profiling. Analyze the time taken to perform every calculation, helping you push time-consuming calculations and tasks to the server. Event log shows the value changes. Function profiles analyze the functions in your project and rules profiles list all the rules that have been calculated. Perform what-if analysis, drill down into each rule and see exactly what values contribute to its result. Rules are everywhere in DriveWorks. As you explore our other tech stacks, they will always refer to rules, which makes for great configurable automation. DriveWorks rules is just one of the core technologies that makes DriveWorks the world leading technology solution that it is. You can learn more about the other core under the hood elements, 3D, form designer, CAD automation, reporting and diagnostics, integration and workflow that make up DriveWorks by exploring our other tech stacks here. You can also see rules in action with these suggested industry spotlights. You'll also find several configurator sites that you can interact with. And remember, they've all been created using DriveWorks technology at driveworkslive.com.